guys, welcome to The Fumble. I'm Britt Johnson for more sports news and commentary. Make sure you click subscribe and don't forget to follow me on all social media at I am Britt Johnson. Happy Memorial Day, everyone. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Considering it was our first weekend, yes, unfortunately, without Michael Jordan's The Last Dance, I first want to ask all of you guys, how is everyone doing? Is everyone okay? I'm doing all right. I've actually had over a week to ponder my thoughts on The Last Dance, and my sentiments toward Michael Jordan have not changed. Well, they have, but just for the greater good. They have gotten so much better. If I thought he was the GOAT before, well, I am absolutely sure of it at this point in time. Michael Jordan is the GOAT. They actually did a study and asked 600 people who they believe the GOAT was, and they all said Michael Jordan. Well, not all of them. 74% though. Good enough for me. I mean, his style of play, love for the game, and mentality are unmatched. Watching the docuseries didn't negatively impact how I felt about his airness, but it did about someone else on that roster, and that guy, unfortunately, is Scottie Pippen. Yes, guys, Michael Jordan's right-hand man, the guy Michael Jordan himself said, if you're talking about my six championships, you are also talking about Scottie Pippen, too. This is the man that is the jelly to Michael Jordan's peanut butter. So it pains me so much what I am about to say, but the docuseries made me like Scottie Pippen a little bit less. I still like the guy, I wanna be clear, I still think he's a great player, and I agree Michael and Scotty both needed to be there to win those six rings together, but let me highlight a few issues I did actually have with Scotty Pippen that came to my attention watching The Last Dance. First, we have the headache game. This moment happened prior to all six of their championships together and actually could have been championship number one for the Bulls. The 1990 Eastern Conference game seven against the Detroit Bad Boy Pistons. Scotty was kept out of the game because of a headache stating years later, well, there's always a little bit of regret. I mean, the series itself was one for the books, but Game 7, the Pistons won 93-74. to The Bulls didn't even have a chance without Scotty in the lineup. Comparing that to MJ playing with basically a broken foot for a while and the famous flu game, which we all know now was a food poisoning game, a headache kind of seems like a bad excuse. And maybe Scotty Pippen would have been a little bit of a quitter in that situation. I could have let it go if it was just that, but there's more. There was a good chunk of the last dance season, the 1997 and 98 season, where Pippen purposely delayed a surgery until season start, which meant he had to sit out a good chunk of the regular season, putting more of a load on MJ and his teammates, knowing good and well that Phil Jackson was coaching his last season with the Chicago Bulls. Pippen reportedly did this because he wanted to get paid more, but but let's be clear, yes he had a crappy contract, but that's the contract that he agreed upon and he signed. And Jerry even told him it was a bad idea not to sign it, but he signed it anyway. So at that point you can't really be mad at anybody but yourself. But he instead decided to selfishly sit out and make his whole entire team suffer because of it. It could have actually ruined the season. Thank goodness it didn't. He did rejoin the team and then in game six of the NBA Finals had that back injury, which if it was up to him, he probably would have actually set out that game, but was pushed by Jordan to at least be in the game as a sort of a decoy. And really, who knows exactly how bad the pain level was. I'm not saying that he was faking it, but for the guy to already have the situations he had before was sitting out for a majority of the season and also the headache game, I don't know if I believe him all the way. So, yes, I said it. I think Scottie Pippen was selfish and lacked the true heart of a winner. And if he didn't have Michael Jordan, he probably wouldn't have turned out as great as he did for his basketball career. But debate me on this in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like this video, click subscribe, and shop the Fumble store for the latest game day gear. I'm your host, Britt Johnson for the Fumble, and I'll see you guys soon.